Hi guys, thank you very much for the time. Um, I'm going to explain about Scylla and what Scylla does. So Scylla is the power of Cassandra at the speed of Redis. Uh, basically, we took Cassandra and rewrote the, the whole application in C. So we are able to take uh, a lot of uh, the benefits of using the actual system that you are using for your other uh, workloads and actually take advantage of the, the hardware, the memory, and the CPUs that you have there. We are capable of doing uh, more than a million transactions per one node, and we are as scalable as Cassandra is. Uh, very, very predictable in terms of latencies, and we actually have users who tell us that that's the case with them, and we'll show you some slides about that as well. Uh, we are compatible with Apache Cassandra. Yes, we are closing the gap time after time. We get more and more features in it. So yes, it's a top speed benefit. We take advantage of the same high availability and fault tolerance that Cassandra has, meaning that you can suffer a network partition and still can access the data. Uh, yes, it is eventually consistent as Cassandra is today. It's very easy to manage versus other applications that use uh, Java and you have to spend half of your life uh, tuning the actual JVM. We don't do that. Since we don't use Java at all, all those tunings are actually non-existent. You can take your same YAML files you have used to deploy your Cassandra, and we're just gonna take the same YAML file, take out what we actually need from that configuration file, throw away all the rest of it, and actually use it for configuration, configuration of your database. The ecosystem is the same, so we use the same drivers, the same ecosystem, the same uh, connectors to the other applications as Spark, Presto, Titan, and other databases that you're familiar with. You can use it today. It's available on Compose. So Compose will offer you um, to, to use uh, Scylla as a Cassandra compatible uh, data store. Uh, we have Andrew here uh, from Scylla, uh, from, uh, uh, from Compose, who actually uh, deployed it and it's, it's working. Uh, we did it yesterday. Uh, simple, you go, you choose your, your instance, uh, you choose your uh, region, and hope you go and you can actually use uh, Scylla today. As simple as it is. Why we are different? We can take advantage, for example, for a multi-queue multi network uh, architecture if you have that. So we can take advantage of taking different threads in your user space and drive them directly into the network so we don't have the kernel in between us. We can actually use caching in a more advanced uh, way and a more efficient way so we don't just page tons of tons of pages from your disk into the, into the memory, we actually make it a little bit more efficient and we have our own scheduler to take advantage of that. Uh, we are um, thread per core, so we look on each one of your cores as a node, which means that we can actually have multiple, multiple small nodes inside every server that you, you're deploying uh, still on top of it. We use our own IO scheduler, uh, it means that we can prioritize different threads or different queries that you have inside your uh, process. So if you have a compaction process, and right now compaction is not suffering, we can actually give it a less priority and get make sure that your actual user query get prioritized beforehand. Uh, it means that you can actually tune which um, queries or which processes are more efficient from your perspective. All that is done inside Scylla, inside the user space. The traditional task, uh, stack will actually take every process and just throw it into the kernel. We don't do that. We take every uh, process that the application uses, in this case, Scylla, and dice it and make sure that we actually use the resources efficiently. So we just don't throw it into the kernel and make sure that hopefully it's gonna operate as we expect. We actually take advantage of it and do it ourselves. In terms of uh, com compatibility, it's the same, you can take your SS tables from Cassandra today, throw them onto Scylla, and it's just, just gonna pop out the data in. We don't require any ETL in the way, you can just use it. We support the legacy uh, Thrift protocol, so if you have Thrift applications, you can use Scylla with them today as well. Same SQL language, same primitive, same definitions that you used before. In terms of configuration file format, as I said before, we'll take the Cassandra YAML file, 90% of it will go to the trash can, and the rest, other 10%, which are really matter, we can use them and make sure that you are configured correctly. Same JMX tool, we have an addition to that one. We can actually uh, enable you a REST API 
to manage and control Scylla. So you don't have to have any Java component if you don't want in your, in your environment. So we can use just REST API. API. Management command line, the same node tool that you're familiar with, with from Cassandra will work here as well. So you don't have to worry about that, that problem uh, from your perspective. Here's a use case from a user. Um, it's Outbrain, it's an ad tech company. Basically, it's comparing Cassandra versus Scylla. The results are simple. 20 20x or 200% reduction uh, in, sorry, 2000. Uh, percent reduction in your in your latency. So the scale on the upper upper graph is at the 200 millisecond. The lower one is 10 millisecond, and that means from your application you can either onboard 20x more users, or if you want to reduce your infrastructure and still keep the same SLA, reduce it by the same amount. It means at that point you save money to your uh, organization. So this is this is what we are looking to to do to Cassandra. It's an amazing, Cassandra is an amazing architecture. The only problem with that is right now, it's not as efficient as it used should be from our perspective. Um, this is an actual use case. The user is using it today. We did our own benchmark, so now it's you know our own, we're cooking our own books in this case. Um, but you can actually go and download it. It's on GitHub, the whole process of how ben to benchmark uh, Scylla. Uh, basically, we took three nodes of Scylla versus three, ten, three, nine, and 15 nodes of Cassandra. To match the same throughput capabilities, you have to run more than almost, 30 almost 15 uh, nodes of Cassandra to match just three of them. Again, in the CapEx, in the CapEx uh, point of view, you mean you're going to reduce uh, your infrastructure by one to one-fifth of what it used to be. But we don't compromise, meaning that you're going to get the same or even better latency, although you have reduced your infrastructure settings. It means that you have predictable. So there is no garbage collection. Uh, compaction, again, is done behind the scenes, and you can actually tune how much compaction you want in each one of your uh, processes. If you look on the lower graph, you will see that Scylla is really, really at the five millisecond uh, latency for every, every one of your queries. Once again, your, your customers uh, will be happy with that one. If you took, take the, the other product, there is no prediction. It's all over the place. As I said before, and this is how it, it translates, throughput and latency um, translate to money at the end of the day. Um, either your cloud infrastructure is going to be going to be lower uh, or smaller, and it actually can have uh, more capital done to other processes, your application. Um, reduce the support cost um, and the need for uh, processing any other type of uh, failure uh, mechanism to make sure that your application is running. From application on top of uh, Scylla, all of the above. Use your same drivers, Java, C Sharp, C, um, Presto, Spark, any of those environments that you're familiar with today will work today at, on Scylla as well. To conclude, um, we are uh, in production uh, almost nine months now, uh, available for people to use. And uh, they're, they're available today at uh, compose.com. Go on Compose, use the product, tell us what you think, and how do you want to use it. That's my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you.